Speaking generally, the Kuwaiti royal family is the second richest royal family in the world, trailing only the higher royal family in terms of wealth. But you've probably never heard anything about them, their opulent lifestyle, or their immense wealth because they are extremely secretive. They don't go around flaunting their mansions, villas, palaces, possessions, massive car collections, and pretty much everything else covered in gold-plated diamonds. They essentially live in their own realm, separate from the other 99.99% .99 of people on the planet. The Kuwaiti royal family lives in elusive, dazzling splendor and wealth behind an unbreakable wall of isolation. Al-Ahmed Al-Saba, the current emir of Kuwait and head of the armed forces, is in charge at the moment. There are just approximately 970 princes and princesses in the entire royal family. With a population of around 2.7 million, Kuwait is a tiny nation that is roughly twice the area of Cyprus and sits on an escarpment above the Arabian Gulf. Since the Emirates' ruling family, the Al Saba, was formally established as Shakhtim Team in 1756, the country's fortunes have been linked to foreign trade. After the discovery of oil in 1938, Kuwait accumulated immense wealth and became one of the richest countries in the world. However, the country is mostly a very unforgiving desert, nestled between Iraq and Hayya Arabia in a section of one of the driest and least hospitable areas on Earth. The economy of the country has been diversifying, but oil still accounts for nearly half of GDP and about 95% of exports. The country has enormous amounts of oil that represent about 7% of global reserves, as well as about 1% of global gas reserves. It also has massive shopping malls, impressive leisure centers, and some of the most beautiful mosques in the entire Arabian Peninsula. Despite having excellent commercial acumen, its government chooses not to boost its nation's oil imports. They merely want the money and luxury that come with it to linger as long as possible, since they know that replacing it with an alternate source of income is more difficult said than done. Beyond 1 million barrels a day and had only lately started growing the gas industry. The Kuwaiti royals also like investing in technological firms. To date, they have amassed more than $70 billion in some of the largest blue-chip giants in the world. They also control other multi-billion dollar businesses including Capco Bergen Bank, Panther Group Golf, Insurance Group, and others. United Gulf Holding Company and United Real Estate. Okay, let's look at some of the palaces that this royal family has. Crazy auto collections, yachts, and unique private aircraft. The Bayonne Palace, Kuwait's primary royal residence, is located in the affluent neighborhood of Bayonne in the Hawaii Governorate. It is one of the most impressive and well-known architectural achievements in Kuwait and the entire world. It was built in 1986 and occupies a sizable land area of about 1.4 square meters. It serves as the primary venue for international conferences that are held in Kuwait. It has a distinctive architectural design where modern and traditionalists coexist. The prominent meeting center can hold up to 1,000 people and transform into a theater at the push of a button. The facility may be transformed into a nightclub or banquet hall with a reception room and a five-star fine dining restaurant, in addition to a conference center with a hydraulically driven main stage and a hall with an IMAX sound system. The main 38 000 square foot royal palace, where the monarch and his family stay, is the most regal and prestigious structure on the vast estate. It has been characterized as mystical, elegant, and fascinating. A charming paradise of extravagant splendor beyond words. The Dar Nur Palace, held by Sheikh Apala Al Saba, is one of the most amazing palaces possessed by the royal Kuwaiti family. An American who married Sheikh Mubarak Jabra al Sabha, the oldest son of the previous Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabra al Ahmed al Sabah, has the most exquisite oceanfront property in the whole nation. The palace in the affluent Masilla area is similar to its owner in that it is an intriguing fusion of east and west, designed so that all of the rooms face the sea while the front of the house is covered in mashravius, a type of projecting oriel window enclosed with carved wood latticework found on the upper floors of a building, sometimes enhanced with stained glass to give privacy to the main entrance. Panorama Okinawa, a piece of contemporary art by Jane Mark Bustamante's Inc., is featured in Salon.
In addition to artifacts like a large blue plate and cutting-edge designs like bronze chairs by Diego Giacometti, the many long galleries on each floor are decorated with over 500 works of art by international and Middle Eastern artists, including Willem de Kooning, Nicky St. Felix, Andy Warhol, a sculpture by Parvis Tanavoli, and a painting by Bahraini artist Jamal Abdul Rahim, Claude Lichtenstein, Indre Sterla Fernando Gotero Ahmed Mater, Ahmed Muala Parvis, and Tanavoli Timonasari. The Ladies' Lounge features calligraphy by Palestinian artist Ahmed Abu Addis, as well as an Andy Warhol portrait of Greta Garbo as Matahari. Outside in the garden are two bird sculptures by Pablo Picasso, along with a marble sculpture of the six women of the house, Sheikha and her five daughters. Three installations of Indian lingams refer to the family's male members. A light installation by a German-Iranian artist is located at the entrance. Many Kuwaiti princes and princesses prefer opulent beach houses inspired by the cultures of the Far East. These palaces have been described as scenographic and sculptured, cool, elegant, and comfortable. Many are situated in the mitre of a coastal area with immaculate beaches. A sculpture by Welsh artist Barry Flanagan depicting a rabbit flying over New York City's Empire State Building. The famous Italian architect Maurizio G. Bayardi collaborated with the Japanese designer Koichiro Akibuki, who conceptualized the lush Como Shambhala Estate Resort in Bali, to jointly create these incredible palaces of unique design. This added a strong Japanese accent to the properties, which feature intriguing interiors with plenty of space. In the most prestigious suburbs of Kuwait City, one can find some of the royal villas that were designed by the renowned Iranian decorator Ali Dad. He is known as a conjurer, who can take a brick-and-mortar shell and transform it into a sumptuous setting with one striking Zen water feature at the regal entrance of the homes. Many also boast multiple swimming pools and serene gardens with fountains. The villas are just dazzling and historically inspired, with immaculate, precise details that impress the eye. Other villas are located in the new affluent Albeda district. They are nothing less than cool, spacious genius, a masterful reflection of the country's thriving exploration into contemporary architecture designed by the architect Jonathan Ashmore in response to solar movement, drawing in natural north light deep into the spaces and offering sanctuary from mid-morning and mid-afternoon sunlight with strategic overhangs to the east and west with a harmonious tonal palette. The villas are designed to be an ageless backdrop for the Kuwaiti royals' passion for art and design. As for cars, the Kuwaiti royals' favorite car brand is none other than the prestigious Rolls-Royce. However, for the royals, their rare vintage modern cars are not just for show. They consider them part of their history. As a result, they established the Historical Vintage and Classic Car Museum, which showcases their taste and connection to the history of automobiles since the early 40s. Many of the royals own top-of-the-line Gulfstream private jets, including four luxurious G700 jets, which cost $75 million each and feature the most spacious, innovative, and adaptable cabins. Along with high-thrust, award-winning Rolls-Royce engines, I can only add that many of their most basic items are gold-plated and embellished with entire and smashed diamonds, while the least expensive piece of real estate they own is worth $20 million. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, Share and press the notification button to receive updates on our newest videos covering our favorite somewhat elusive celebrities' elusive luxury net worth and business concerns.